it's uh, it's the toggle. Kate Kipawar, Nivinath, and Taylor Westbrook are as bright as they come, all bitten by the IT bug early on. I know I've always been into computer science since freshman year. I got introduced um, then in high school, so I, I got hooked to it. It's going to be like restaurants, events, art. The teens are the only high schoolers in Connecticut to be selected by Girls Who Code, a New York-based organization working to close the gender gap in tech fields, traditionally dominated by men. Next week, they will wrap up the summer immersion program at Mass Mutual in Springfield, an intense seven weeks of learning coding, robotics, and web design. It's one of 14 across the country. That experience of figuring out yourself, doing the whole thing yourself, is really rewarding, and that's not very traditional. And like most rewarding experiences, this one had some bumps along the way. Working with a team of people um, coding, it's very difficult. It's harder than I thought. The first line of code I wrote, I was probably really confused. Um, I didn't know what it would do. You can change the picture and then okay. it will change the um, image. Despite the challenges, they all say they plan to take on the IT industry in some way. Currently, less than half a percent of high school girls select computer science as a college major. I definitely think that computer science is for me, like I found it and I'm good at it. Yasmin Lorette with Girls Who Code says that's their ultimate mission, to build confidence. She says in five years there will be over a million tech jobs in the country and not enough people with the skills to fill them. Only 29 percent of our population, men and women, will be skilled enough to do it and only about three percent of those will be women. In Springfield, women are capable as much as men are. Sajatha Jan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.